Welcome back to my channel. If you're thinking about moving to another country or another city, this video is for you. Today, I want to talk about moving to Berlin as an artist. If you follow my channel, you probably have seen last week, I just visited Berlin with my good old friend, artist Li Wei and his friend, Mr. Chu. Mr. Chu is an artist slash investor. He just purchased the art museum near Zentnik, north of Berlin. Together, we visited the towns near by his museum and also the city Berlin. We shoot some amazing projects together and I would like to be showing you in this video the places I have visited and things I have seen. It was fortunate it was exactly the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. So we were at the good place at the good time and we had a lot of fun. It was such a historic moment and I was very honored to be there to be in Berlin at this very moment. And and I would like to share those moments with you. Just before starting going into whether you should be moving to Berlin, I want to tell you a little bit of background story of me and Berlin. In 2010, 2011, I was living in Germany already, but another city called Bremen. When I was studying in Bremen, doing my master degree, I visited Berlin very often and I had such an amazing time. I had a good experience and I always dreamed about moving back one day, moving to Germany. Germany moving to Berlin. Maybe I'm not giving you the non-biased opinion about the city because I have fond memories. So hopefully I will analyze as objectively as possible the pros and cons of moving to Berlin as an artist and hopefully this video can help you decide whether this city is right for you. Let's start with the positive points. The point number one, Berlin has amazing public goods and services, very well established and managed. For example, it has the train networks, uh, regional train, and also the tram, the buses. If you live outside of Berlin, you can easily access the city without a car. And if you decide to have a car, you can also move around fairly easily with the freeway and their freeways are truly free, not like in other cities I'm living in like right now in Spain a lot of the freeways are still paid and that's the main reason Mr. True decided to purchase the museum. You don't really feel that it's an hour driving because it feels like half hour. It feels like not so long because it's very well managed and very well designed. Also public universities are also part of the public goods and services. They are free. If you're thinking about studying art, uh, visual art, sound art, performance arts, you can check out the schools in Berlin and in other parts of Germany. They are practically free. You could just pay the matriculation fee, which is nothing compared to other countries in the world. And the rankings could be quite high depending on the program. And just go and check out. You might be finding something that suit you and suit your curriculum and you can coordinate your trip and your plans moving to Berlin according to the uh, agenda of your schools. The next thing I want to talk about is the multiculturalism of Berlin. No matter where you are from, uh, what color you have, eye color, hair color, skin color, or religion, or maybe other kind of beliefs, you are welcome here and you will not receive uh, um, any kind of uh, bias. At least this is how I feel as a person of color. I was living in Australia before coming to Germany and I felt quite some uh, bias and some kind of hatred against Chinese immigrants for a variety of reasons and I was worried moving to Germany I was worried that they would treat me differently but when I arrived I realized that they actually treat me with more care and with you know more thoughtfulness and not to offend me in any way I find them very cute and I don't find any inconvenience and Berlin is such a multicultural city with a lot of international artists and international students I think you'll be welcomed in a city with such a multiculturalism. The third point I want to talk about is the art scene in Berlin. Berlin has a very good underground and above ground art scene. So the underground art scene is that you can check out uh, different Facebook groups and also uh, meetup groups. There are a lot of things going on like music festivals and secret openings and a lot of weird stuff but very cool, very fun around the city. Every weekend if you want to visit a place you will definitely not bore yourself. And also above the ground, I mean the art market is quite okay in Europe considered that since 2000 
2008, there is a crisis in Europe and in Southern Europe, the art market has been hit quite crazily. But in Germany, in other parts of Europe like Switzerland, Belgium and France, they are the last remaining standing um, European art markets. If you are entry level or mid career level artist, you'll be able to find the local art collectors for your art because the art market is still okay. The next thing I want to talk about is the location. Because Berlin is in the heart of Europe, you can take a three hour flight to any part, any direction, and you can arrive in the north, in the south, and you, know, you can be in the Eastern European countries, you can fly to England or in the Mediterranean countries like France and Spain quite easily, and the flights are very cheap. There are two airports, the TXL and the Schoenfeld. They both operate uh, very low cost airlines and have great connections to the city is very affordable moving around from Berlin to other places in Europe, especially in the Schengen area, because you won't even need a visa to move around. Now let's talk about potential problems that you might encounter moving to Berlin as an artist. The first problem is language. As you know, they speak German, although that most of the educated people, like college students, they speak English, but the local uh, paperwork, the the bureaucratic things are still done in German. And if you don't speak the language, you might face a lot of difficulties. Like when I was with Li Wei and Mr. Chu, they did not speak a word of German nor English. So they were pretty much stuck. And wherever they go, they rely on help. Like I would translate for them or they would hire a translator. And that is really inconvenient. If you would like to stay in Germany for over a year, I would say definitely you need to take a German lessons, ideally before coming to Germany. If you don't have the time or opportunity, at least you should take German lessons 50 to 100 hours in the first year moving to Berlin. Otherwise, you are pretty much disabled because you won't be able to talk to other people or getting around and getting all the things that Berlin has to offer. Point number two, German has very regulated space in terms of business and contracts and labor laws. If you're an artist back in your country, maybe in America, you just sell art in the flea market and that's it. But in Germany, it's not like that. If you want to be a freelancer artist, if you want to have your own company, sell art, you need to register absolutely everything. You need to have your own medical care. You need to have contracts if you're working for someone or if you hire someone and everything has to be regulated and you have to declare clear, you have to pay for extensive amount of paperwork and not only paying for the lawyers, but also taxes. The local business friend told me that he hired a manager for 3000 euro and he was paying 2600 for the uh, social security and other kind of taxes. Um, overall, it's not worth it. If you are thinking about hiring someone there to help you start your art business, or art career, maybe you should think twice. Maybe you should like find other ways to work around, like establishing a company back in the home country before coming to Germany, because it can be such a shock in terms of business culture if you're coming from a much liberal market uh, rather than a very regulated uh, social uh, state. Check out local law laws and regulations before coming here, you will find out what I'm saying. Number three, high cost of living. If you're coming from New York or LA, you might find the cost of living in Berlin is quite okay. But if you're from other parts of the world, you'll consider that it's quite high, especially the cost of rentals. To rent an apartment 10 years ago, when I first visited Berlin, it was like 600 euro. You can rent a good size, a good location, but now it's gonna be over 1000 euro. You will not find a studio apartment in the uh, center of the town anymore because a lot of investors come in they think the Berlin has a lot of potential it's such an amazing city and it's the supply and demand a lot of people came they together had driven the real estate prices and rental prices up and this is like Paris this is like London so I wouldn't say it's a unique problem to Berlin if you have heard about the low cost of living in Berlin a few years ago check them out again maybe it is no longer true so I would say update the information before coming here 
you might be surprised that right now it is not the cheapest European capital anymore. I am based in Madrid and I would say Madrid is a lot cheaper than Berlin today. So if you're thinking about moving to a European country with low cost of living, I would say check out Madrid instead of Berlin. Maybe this can be another video. I'll make another video about moving to Madrid as an artist on another occasion, I guess. The last thing I want to talk about is the weather. And I think this is the deal breaker for me personally. Berlin has harsh winters, long winters. The sun falls down quite early and is freezing cold. You might not even see the sun all day because it's so rainy, so cloudy. Originally, I come from Beijing. It's not a city with the best weather. It is known for the sandstorms and smogs. And I would say Beijing winter is a lot better than the Berlin winter because at least we got to see the sun and in Berlin it's so raining and I was shivering taking the photos yes freezing cold. I was wishing that I'm in a Mediterranean town and I somehow regretted being there for a, a brief moment because the weather was so bad. So for me this is a deal breaker. If you come from a city like New York with harsh winter, with a cold weather, maybe you don't mind. So check out the weather and maybe for you this is something that bothers you, especially if you like to draw outside. Unless you draw in the studio the whole time, it doesn't bother you, then that is totally fine. So yeah. Hi, Wang Mei. You can. Wow. Now you have heard about the four pros and cons of moving to Berlin as an artist. What about you? Are you thinking about moving to another city? Where is the city in mind? Let me know in the comment below. I would love to hear from you. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.